All right, so I wanted to make a fixed balance patch. Because I do think there is a lot of problems with the game right now, and it needs to be addressed. So number one, we are going to Vault Astra. This agent has proven to be too game game defining and, and and fundamentally broken as long as she has some Sentinel utility I can't be destroyed destroyed and there is no way in her current state to change this just without the dumb stirring her playability. So so with my my Astra change with faulting Astra, for one this is gonna be from ranked only, so if you still want to play Astra you can so going to unrated, you can still go and spike crush and all that, but this is from ranked and pro play. But with Astra, you have too many options, and you can be a sentinel with with controller like aspects, and and what balances the sentinels out is that obviously their tech can be destroyed. But with Astra's, you can't, so it just completely breaks the game. And so, and if you just make it so stars are destroyable, then if she's never going to be able to get a smoke off in time. Time, unless I'm like Iron 1. So, for now, let's just put her in the vault until we can find a healthy way to implement her. Next. Jet Dash now has a wind up before she can dash. Similar to Goru TP. Dash is now a forty second. Down so with Jet, you have a lot of things you can do with Jet right now, but but what this change is meant to do is to keep her entry ability the same. However, make it so that she doesn't just get a get out of jail free card, which is the most annoying part about playing against Jet. It's how she gets a get out of jail free card card if if she feels like she's gonna die and she hasn't already gotten a bullet in the head yet. So so this completely removes that. That but also buffs her her entry ability. Did to confiscate. So I think her entry ability is fine. Fine, but the get out of jail free version of her should be gone. Gone, so that's what we're gonna do for now. Now actually I wanna change this. I want to use a different agent here, even though this agent is going to be upcoming. Sky Flash is no longer to make special, special blinded. The sound effects and and void lines. All right, what next? If the timer to pop bit run it's out, the flash automatically pops.
flesh cannot be destroyed to compensate. So what this is meant to do is to create some more flexibility amongst her flashes. Just, oh yeah, one more thing. Sky now takes one whole second to pull her gun back out. So what this is meant to do is give her an identity as a flash support, or not this this duelist with extra steps. Steps. So, so with this, it should should flush out shell sky's more flash support side, but make get less less likely that you'll be able to capitalize on it yourself. So because you're not really supposed to. Alright. I did not copy the judge's spot. Alright, so now we did. So, these right now are easily the two biggest problems in the game right now. Now, in removing this, we'll open up the meta automatically. At least because of Astra. Because Sky hard forces this duelist like Phoenix and Yoru out of the meta. Uh, and Astra. Astra enables. Both teams to never have to rotate because you have Sentinels on your site. A site that she can also still move her util to across the map without being punished. So, once we get these two out, out then the game will automatically open up. So, first thing. Like, jet dash change to 40. Second cooldown down now as to wind up dash. This is meant to make jet a high mobility and cheer and not a gimmicky opera for that can't be killed. He killed on the f that that practice. It has to be killed twice. So my jet changes are meant to make it so that that you have more more options to entry, but but you're not just gonna be gimmickly gimmickly at an advantage. Unless you whiff your aim that badly, it's not you're not gonna be able to able to get out as freely. So that's that's one of the things that needs to go. I do want a nerf chamber. I am concerned about chamber and KO. Don't know. Chamber KO and possibly kill the way. Chamber now has to 
wind up his TP. TP wind up. TP wind up increased to match your TP. The head hunter now drops half of its bullets on death and bolt now costs one thousand credits to you. So what this is meant to do do is make chamber like jet less of a gimmicky opera. So severe tier dupes. So what this is meant to do is make chamber less of a gimmicky hero. and make it so that he just doesn't completely break the economy because that's really the most overpowered thing about chamber right now is how he can literally just break the economy because you're building up your headhunter and then by the time you actually have to eco you don't even have to buy anything then if you have her up that's just even better so what this meant to do is it makes it so that you have to more time time when you actually buy your headhunter bullets Bullets or make it so that you want to actually use them. And make it so that there's punishment to actually, actually just feeding off cooldown with your op. Alright, now KO. Oh, how do I want to do this? Because KO is actually quite difficult to balance right now. But I do think after Sky gets nerfed, KO is probably more likely going to need nerfs. Ooh, how do I want to do this? Ao no longer holds this if he is down and old. Because that was honestly a really stupid change. Oh. This duration will pause and pick back up once he is revived. Alright, so what this. Because I think that was a really stupid change that actually really. really affected Chaos Entry, but because because right now there's really no point in Resin KO, except for maybe Eco. So, so what this is meant to do is make it so that you can go for a bit more risky gear vibes of, of KO. You know, because if you actually get it off, it will immediately pick back, pick the pulses back up. Uh, but that also makes sense so that you're actually can now punish him for walking in like a dumbass and feeding. And it's not just like, like if he's there, oh, the entire side is suppressed anyways. Well, so that's why I'm doing this. Oh, I am worried about Splash, yeah. Flash cook time on right click is now the same as left click.
location of the knife reduced to six seconds. Increased to ten seconds. So obviously I have have quite a bit of nerves and all that, but I want to more give Kale an identity. He has support for character, so that's why I'm increasing the suppress duration on knife and make us that is more useful to actually keep yourself alive or die in a die in a respawn spot. Oh, I'm sorry. Great. So, so that's what this is meant to do. Oh, what next? These are like the main changes to to the actual agents, so I'm also going to hold off on buffing Omen and Brimstone because Oh wait, Viper. Viper is actually a good one that needs to be nerfed. Instant de decay reduced Twenty vulnerability the end can no longer stack if they do stack vulnerability really takes takes first priority. Okay, so what this meant to do is to nerf for more sentinel-like abilities and also make it so that you're not instantly punished where rubbing your like hair against your walls. Because that's easily the most infuriating thing about it. I want sentinels to be sentinels. I don't want, want con these controller sentinel hybrids running around because it just takes away from, from actually needing a sentinel. Because sometimes, sometimes you can literally get away with just running Astro. Sure, because her Sentinel utility is so strong. Same with Viper. Burr. But as I was saying, I'm going to hold off on nerfing Omen and, on buffing Omen and Brimstone because, because once we get to Astra and Strum Viper, for it down to scale. Scale those two are going to shop significantly. And and then we'll see if see if any of them need nerfs from there. Like if Viper's for is still a sharp pick, then more like either either Viper needs more nerfs or Omen's gonna need buffs. I am actually concerned about rain now. Like, now that Jet's nerfed, I'm actually a bit concerned that Reyna's gonna take over as, like, that opera position. Should especially have good offers. So. Reyna dismiss. Dismiss now has to touch her arm in order for immortality to take Effect. This does not affect Empress, and will s still commence it immediately if she uses it in old.
Now this change is meant to keep her ult feeling somewhat powerful because her ult is pretty awkward. But if you do know how to use it, it can be quite a strong ult. Ult, but at the same time, it nerfs her sort their normal stages. I actually. I'm not super hard enough in KO because I kind of actually want him to take over as like a Sova. Though which I should honestly look at Sova because I do think he needs a bit of a nerf. Sova drone duration. Reduced by two seconds. And now only. One bolt that pull says six times. There no longer feels position, Shin, but still text presence and can now see. Through walls. Well, so what this is meant to do is because Sova has been, for the most part, hard meta ever since the game released. Is this is here to make it so that that you still have options to find people, but but it's more reasonable. Especially when compared to Sky's dog. So what this is meant to do is Make us that that drone is more of an early scouting tool. Tool and more useful in like middle rounds when you need you need to get get like one or two corners clear pretty quickly. And this will also give him uses on split. So I do think the initiator that needs to change, and I was hoping Kale would bring this, but Sola is just too valuable. Well, now, note average Jonas, I am not nerfing shock darts, so your lineups will still work. Although I do. Although I am gonna do this. Shock dart no longer. Drops off damage. But which and now deals 75 instead of max 90. So, what this meant to do is make that lineups work, but at the same time, you don't have to be as precise to them, but also makes that you're not just taking heavy damage instantly. Let me, because I do think night damage max is a bit much. I do want to include one weapon change in here because, so I do think the weapons meta is actually in the best spot it is right now. But there is one thing that needs to be changed. Phantom, Phantom, first shot accuracy, C, crease, 2.3, 3, and reduced to 0.15.
and sun and then gold tray. Ammo counts. Some now only does one forty max and shots. Not then the fire rate increased. Eleven per second. So G on spray patterns. It's affecting old dog guardian. Phantom Vandal. So this is like... Because I do think the Phantom is still really strong. And I do think that if you're somewhat good with the Phantom, you could still out... Far outclass Vandals, even on the longer range maps. So what this is meant to do is give each weapon more of an identity. But make it so that if you're skilled with it, you can still get away with it. And essentially make it so that so that there is more so that the phantom has more disadvantages against the vandal. And it's not and it's not just the one weakness which was the drop off. I don't actually want to buff Killjoy. I don't actually want to nerf Killjoy because I think if people were to learn how to sh look down and shoot alarm bots and swarm grenades, she actually wouldn't be that strong. Strong like she is. So. So I am going to do this. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to make one nerf to Killjoy, but the rest of this is going to be Cypher Gloves. AJ can no longer charge another lockdown. And while one is winding up or detained. So what this is meant to do is make it so that, so that at the beginning, if she gets, is make it so that she has more timing when it comes to getting kills during lockdown. Because I think one of the biggest things about lockdown that needs to be changed right now is the fact that, that if she gets an ace on it, and let's say she gets three of those kills before the lockdown goes off, off while it's placed. Okay, she's still going to have 5 out of 7, then possibly 6 if she's on defense. Defense towards, towards that lockdown. So I want to remove that. Now let's look at Cypher. This is the last change. Cypher. Trip should wind up reduced by twenty five percent. Sends what next? Pages last ten seconds now. Oh, that no. It just last ten seconds now and 
feels the location. Like spy, like cam darts. But it no longer gives special audio or visual cues on actual cage and can now be destroyed with spotted. So what this is meant to do is is to buff Cypher up a bit more so that way Way is more up to preference on Cypher's Killjoy. Because right now, even though yeah, is is technically still up to preference, because generally you're gonna find it much, much easier to get max value out of Killjoy than Cypher, because you can do a lot of things by yourself. While with Cypher, you're more just info gathering for a team. Team man can't really capitalize off your cape, off the info gathering you give by yourself sometimes so this is meant to change that uh, but overall what I'm trying to, to do with this is I'm trying to change up the meta greatly because this current meta is boring as hell to watch and boring as hell to play So this is meant to change up the meta. Not because Sky and KO were in the spots they're run right now. Now they really heavily lock lock their duelist that isn't Jet and Reyna out of the meta. So once these two so once Sky goes and once Kale is moved into where Silver Spot is now, 